we're in Edinburgh at the festival and um, we've just done uh, a photo call for the Times who literally, and we might even put a picture up of this, uh, gathered all the trans performers and drag performers, kind of interesting, I think that's how they described it, that are on in the festival, well most of them I'm sure, I'm sure there are some missing and um, it was quite impressive, it was panned down, we kind of filled most of this kind of seating area and we had um, the Lady Boys of Bangkok behind us which is kind of interesting. Um, so yeah we had Joe Clifford, we had me from Testosterone and a show called Skin which is a dance show uh, and my show, You've Changed, which is on at Summer Hall, um, 8.30 except Wednesdays to the end of August. And I think what's been really interesting is it's like when you're dealing with the press and you're talking about stuff around uh, being trans, to suddenly be suddenly collected together was quite interesting. Like we are, um, I don't know, something new and a bit exotic. And, and it's kind of something that I put in the show. I do a whole thing about are we a fad? Uh, and um, you know, I'm sure that our press person Megan would agree. We've been really busy and, and lots of people kind of want to come and interview us. And I think some of that interest is because we're trans, you know, and I think it's kind of hard sometimes to get people off some of those topics and get onto the work. Like the piece that I've made is about um, transitioning 14 years ago, which doesn't seem that long ago, but actually in trans terms is a very long time ago. And it's almost, the way I've done the show, it's like it's like it's transitioning in the 1930s. So the idea that some of the ideas back then were really quite archaic. And I, I still think there are corners of that. And, and we, we haven't seen how these articles are going to come out. But there's definitely some stuff that we feel isn't quite up to speed. And, it, and in the show that I do, I kind of encourage people to read a book, look it up and get on with it. In the same way that I don't feel like it's black people's job to help us understand about racism. I don't feel like it's always trans people's job to help people understand stuff around gender and trans issues or non-binary issues or gender fluid issues. I feel it's encouraging people to make an effort really and sometimes with the media and journalism you're kind of waiting for them to catch up, you know you're really waiting for them to catch up and they kind of maybe want to hit some of the kind of lazier kind of headlines so I think it's a real challenge and we've actually got a panel part of a panel about how as a trans artist you deal with press and I think we all need to be a bit smarter about that um, so yeah and, and I hope that my show goes some way into meaning we don't have to have those conversations anymore that's the kind of plan of the show I want people to engage in the conversation but in a kind of more uh, up to speed way so today's been really interesting being with all the other trans performers it's really exciting it's a really lovely year to be here I feel and I feel like some of the Joe Clifford is doing Eve at the Travers and, and Adam is also at the Travers. So that's a really prestigious venue and um, it'd be really interesting to see what happens in the forthcoming years. But we definitely seem to be hot, I would say, in this 19, sorry, 19, what year am I talking about? <laughs> 2017's Edinburgh Festival. You know, we feel hot and let, let's see what they do in the times.